Hewitt is kind. His siblings, it's one of the first things they say. He's always sharing and inclusive. In school, he applies himself so much. He doesn't worry about being wrong or making mistakes because he just wants the challenge. Hewitt, initially, he just simply started having headaches. It was to the point his teacher would message me and said, he's putting his head down and not finishing his assignment. He started getting a lot of light sensitivity, so he would just mm -hmm. want to close his eyes. They were becoming more frequent and closer together, and that's when he started feeling nauseous with it as well. Our doctor is here at Arkansas Children's Northwest, and he said we'll go ahead and get a scan just to rule everything else out. He talked about if we find nothing, we have a plan of action of how we deal with a child that has migraines. It just so happened that the MRI appointment came before the eye doctor appointment. They got us in on a Friday. That night, a surgeon called us back and told us we would head to Little Rock for surgery. What they found was a baseball-sized tumor on the occipital lobe, which is the back of the head. As they looked at it, they knew the only option was to remove it. So three days later, he had a craniotomy. When I told Hewitt that there was a tumor that it needed to come out, he said, I want to tell Anna and Bear. I want to tell my siblings. And his first thing he said is, I don't want you to be worried. And he explained everything that he could, everything that we knew. And he just kept telling them, these are doctors, they know what they're doing. And I think feeling like he had an answer, feeling like there was a team and there was a plan gave him peace. The tumor resection is successful. Our doctor was able to confirm that his cancer was malignant. Hewitt came to see us at Arkansas Children's Northwest with a really rare, highly malignant brain tumor. There aren't many kids in the world with, with this type of brain tumor. Um, it's called a high-grade neuroepithelial tumor, and it's characterized by a mutation in a gene called BCOR. The very hard thing about his cancer is you almost always just get one shot at it. And so we decided to go with the most aggressive treatment because it was a very aggressive cancer. We came home and it was six months of chemo. Hewitt's biggest challenges were probably the fact that he couldn't see people. Somebody who's going through chemo is very immune compromised. It was always a bit of a shock when we couldn't go, can't go do Christmas, can't do Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. can't do the, any school function. I think when he would realize his limitations were his low points and he would get really frustrated. But anytime siblings were around, he would just automatically switch to, these are the fun things we can do, these are the games we can play. His siblings don't understand what some things felt like or how hard things were because Hewitt was a brother first to them. He's always encouraging and exciting to be around without sharing all the hard stuff. He finished his chemo and he is NED. There's no evidence of disease. Our course of action now is blood work once a month and brain scans every three months. The time and the duration of those get further and further apart the longer he goes with no evidence of disease. In this past year, I realized that we are all capable of really hard things, but we don't have to do hard things alone. The doctors here have always really spent time with me and Hewitt. The nurses are compassionate and funny and playful. There are helpers and volunteers in the playroom. Every person here is an advocate for children. At the end of treatment here at ACNW, we put on a huge ceremony called the bell ringing ceremony. It's a kind of a traditional end of chemotherapy, end of treatment for the cancer patients. This means a lot to the kids. It's a visible symbol that they really are finished with their treatment. It means a lot to the families to know that all the staff are there who've been a part of the child's journey the whole time to see them off. The bell ringing was really full circle. I feel like it was the beginning of a lot of celebrating. You get to see every person that played a role yeah. in the journey, mm -hmm. and that is very, very, very special. 
Like every one of these people are heroes. Yeah. Completely. We love Arkansas Children's Northwest. I think Arkansas residents should be honored to have this little pocket and I just hope that it continues to grow. 